Hello everyone and welcome to the 144th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. For those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and while watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. As I said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting off this week's episode with the first creation, we have the SAFA-25 Vulture Dive Bomber. So a small little dive bombing plane along with it, apparently we have four 50 pound bombs and two 100 pound bombs. There's also some MGs strapped onto this, so let's go and spawn in and see how well it works. And spawning in the creation, overall a very nice looking plane. As you can see, it really, really does look good from the front here. Having a look at, yeah, man, the creation's done a great job with the angles on this thing beautiful so on the left wing or the outer wings you can see we've got the small 50 pound bombs looks like they got impact sensors so maybe the crater needs to update those uh with the new blocks that we have we've also got some mounted machine guns now the crater does recommend that you play with infinite ammo on um to get these to work so that's perfectly fine i'm guessing just because at the moment there's no way to automatically reload these you actually physically have to manually come up to these and reload them and you can't do that from obviously when you're in the cockpit flying underneath that we also have 100 pound bombs underneath there all right some landing gear some lights uh, looks like an engine inside here what's a small engine all right so just a prefab engine uh, exhaust in here looks like a radiator all right going around the sides very cool very plain very simple I like it all right doesn't look like anything to refuel unless I missed it or it's hidden somewhere behind one of these blocks uh let's go and jump inside here now just a quick disclaimer uh, if you guys do check this out, I actually had to fix one thing before I looked at this. Uh, the electricity wasn't connected or properly connected to this, so it wasn't actually folding up. Uh, just double check that before you guys go and fly. Maybe the creator's updated it by the time you've seen this video. Uh, cool. Let's go in the canopy. So canopy gives us access to the front and back. In the rear, we've got the gunner, and this should be able to just left click and fire. Yep, as you can see. It's a little bit glitchy. I mean, I'm, I'm aiming over here and it's pointing over there. Um, okay, interesting way of doing the aiming. But yeah, works well, cool. Uh, we've got some extra ammo here if we need it. Let's go into the pilot seat. So pilot seat's over here. We've got a little reticle here for aiming. We've got uh, cab lights, nav lights, brakes, which are on by default. Uh, we can obviously go and close that canopy. We can get our starter on, which is one. Do we need to give it some throttle, maybe? Uh, it looks like it's somewhat running. I mean, let's give it a little throttle. That's up and down. There we go. So that is definitely now running. Can't read really here because I've got headphones on here inside the cockpit. We are slowly moving, but I do have the brakes on. Uh, we've got spotlights. Spotlight in the front. Uh, we've got the bombs, and that's pretty much about it. All right. Uh, I mean, let's get the brakes off, which is that one. Uh, let's start taxiing off here on the runway. Looks very quick. Slow down a bit. Now we do have hot key to brakes, which is three. So just in case we do need to brake while we're taxiing here. There is no flaps or anything like that. It's all just manual control. So let's just go and taxi out here. And we'll take off in a few seconds. Very quiet considering we've got those headphones on. All right. So elevators up. Throttle up. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Max total currently at the moment. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, lift, lift. There we go. Cool. And we're off. Very nice. Nice and clean. Can we get landing gear, which is two? Ooh, nicely folded away there. Let's get the brakes on so it stops actually moving around. Uh yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. It is quite uh stiff in terms of steering. You know, rolling is quite stiff. I mean, everyone has their own preference on how this should work. Uh, I mean, what you could do, we shouldn't really but we'll use the yaw, but we can. Uh, now, what you can also do is lower the throttle, I'm guessing. That'll probably give you a little bit more maneuverability. Let's see, so I cut my throttle a little bit, not too much. Uh, you could also bring it into controller mode, which is J. Uh, and that means that now you get like super sensitive controls. So if you want something like that to just be a little bit more sensitive, just bring it into J. Uh, and then that does really help. But once again, up to you on how you want to fly. All right, uh, so now that we see how well this thing flies, uh, let's go over back to base and let's try out the weapons. So I'm going to leave it in controller mode. I just 
prefer it's a little bit more sensitive for my liking. So left click is to shoot the machine guns. Nice. Pretty, pretty easy. Go and shoot those. Oh, actually, let's go and try and bomb this thing. So there we go. Line ourselves up a bit. Uh, and then to drop the bombs would be to five and six. So five and six. Nice. Might have missed a bit. Oh, no, I got some shot. <laughs> Very nice. I missed the big bombs. I got the small ones. Nice. I like it. As I said, the only thing I personally would do is um, make it a little bit more sensitive. But that's my own opinion in the matter. Uh, let's go and take controller mode off. And then you can go back to being quite nice and stiff. So yeah, overall, a very nice plane. Uh, as I said, one thing just to watch out for is infinite electricity. Oh, sorry, infinite ammo. Uh, and then also just the one thing that was missing was the electricity on that little pivot there to make the wing fold. Uh, but two things that are very easy to sort out. Cool. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the North Ice. Now, the North Ice is an Arctic weather research base. The creator has gone and built a whole base up in the north in the Arctic. And now with this, uh, you have obviously the weather station. There is a runway with working runway lights. There's helipads, there's a boat lift, there's refueling, uh, and they've even added it into the cargo. So it's a new uh, destination for you to deliver cargo to, which is really cool, actually. So let's go and spawn this in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, so you can see there's quite a few different components that actually uh, ha we have here. So it looks like there's the boat lift over here. We also have what I'm guessing would be the runway lights, possibly, or just maybe some normal lights to walk around. We'll have to activate the runway lights just now. We've got some solar panels. We've got the actual weather station. We've got some penguins flopping around. Uh, we've got, ah, here, this must be the runway. Okay, cool. Now, all of this is currently off at the moment. Uh, and then lastly, we have the actual weather station. So we'll check out all these different things. What's this? Uh, not too sure what this is. I mean, let's go and check it all out. Let's go over. I don't even know where to start. Let's check it over here. So over here, we've got what's all this? It's a refill tank, refuel vehicle. OK, so this is like a refueling. What is this little thing? It's just like some type of buggy to walk, get around, possibly. So we've got some seats in here. We've got a driving seat. So yeah, they're just like a little buggy. Interesting. Don't want the controls off of that. <laughs> okay, so this is all of it looks like our generator and refueling. Okay, so lights. All right, we've got backlights, refuel, generator cooling, generator safety, generator starter. And let's get throttle, throttle. Okay, so that's the generator running. I don't know if we need to have this running all the time. This could possibly only be to recharge vehicles. But once again, we'll find out soon enough. Ooh, there's something else here. You can see those little things. Oh, this is a helicopter pad. Ah, is there an option? Yes. So this is the helicopter pad over here. So you can see the four lights there that you'll need. All right. Uh, let's go over to the lift and let's see how this thing works. So this is a boat lift. So if you have a boat, you can obviously drop this down, drive it onto it and then pull it up. That way it doesn't go away in, you, in storms or anything. Uh, what do we have inside here? So this is winch power up, winch power down. All right, so I'm going to seat, winch power, and then you can winch down. And there goes the lift into the water. And that means you can then obviously put your boat on it and then lift it back up. All right, pretty straightforward. Let's go and turn all that off. Uh, let's go over to the other side. What's in here? Get that on. There are heaters scattered around everywhere, which is great. A little waiting room inside there. Perfect. Uh, what is this thing? Let's go and check out this. Maybe just a yeah, some some type of receiver. It's obviously got video receiver on it. All right. So we've checked that out. One of these things, just maybe lights to. Yeah, just some lights to obviously tell you where you're going. We've got the solar panels over here. All right. And then we have our main base. All right. Let's go and check out this base. This is the weather base. It looks like there is an electrical cable here, a door which we can't open. Oh, okay, so you can see everything inside there. Looks like we've got power unlock, power, lights, okay. And that opens the door. Now we can go inside and we can get our lights and uh, use module power, okay. And let's open this door and we're going to close that. So we've got some Arctic equipment, some flashlights and things. We've got welcome to the North Ice. Open up the door 
and inside we have a few things. So this looks like some type of like crew area or somewhere you can maybe drive your vehicles in. All right. Let's have an alarm. I've got another door over here. Another entrance. Little couch area. Nice with a little game there too, if you want to play some games. Little seating area around here. Looks like a fridge of some sort. Uh, some medical areas. All right, so let's go up one level and let's see what we have next. So these looks like computers. What are these? Just, okay. Just visual screens. Uh, looks like a TV screen of some sort. Yep. And a heater. Cool. Uh, we also have another door here. What's inside here? So this is a bunk for sleeping. Okay. Uh, and then we go up to the next level. And inside this, this is, I'm guessing, the weather part. So monitor on and off. And you can then change the channel. Uh, we've got... Looks like a map screen or radar of some sort. Uh, we've got a radio. Weather information. Weather information again. Oh, it's using my screen. Nice. All right. What else do we have? That's pretty much about it. Okay, this is, I like it. I, I, where was the option to turn on the, I wanted to know where we can turn on the aircraft lights for the runway. Didn't see any options for that. This is really cool. Uh, let's go back outside. How do we open this door? So, is there any key switch for this? Maybe here? Yes, there we go. Cool. So I want to go have a look around. Is there anything to activate these lights? No, they don't look like they're activated. Maybe we need to come here and actually press a button to turn them on. I didn't see anything, though. All right. Well, that's the one thing I couldn't find. But, I mean, everything else is really cool. The penguins are still riding around. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, this is really cool. I like it. Uh, I mean, it's really nice. As you can see, hold on, one more thing I want to show you guys is if you go to your map here, you can actually see that we've got the research area, which is actually a new location and you've got the um, new location which is a cargo area so you can actually get missions to do cargo and stuff and apparently containers will spawn here uh, I've got them turned off for the top five but uh, yeah it's pretty cool so guys a uh, lovely creation let's go ahead let's move on to the next one for the episode and moving on to the next creation we have the heavy attack flow plane now this is meant to be a rugged twin engine flow plane modified for anti-shipping now, it's got a ton of things in there, a bunch of weapons too. Apparently, a uh, four light auto cannons, two heavy auto cannons, a battle cannon, six rocket pods, two um, death charges. Uh, what else do we have? We've got two machine guns, six, six machine guns, no, seven machine guns uh, in different turrets. Wow, this is a whole bunch of things. Let's go and spawn this in and see how it works. And spawning in the next creation, man, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. I think Grace has done a really great job. Look at all the detailing around this. Really incredible what the creator has done here. Beautiful. So big engines on either side there. You can see we've got some rocket parts. Looks like light auto cannons, battle cannon, heavy auto cannons. We've got the big floats on either side. I mean, spot on job. Everything just looks like it should do and it's all in place. Absolutely beautiful design to this. Big fat landing gear, like even the detailing look inside here looks really cool. This nice little hatch here at the back. Looks like we got a rear gunner too. Side gunners. Is that a top gunner? Yep, top gunner. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's see how well we can get in, in and out of those things. So there's a hatch over here. What's this thing? Gray. F, make your, okay, make life easy to get in and out. Okay, well, it's pretty easy. Uh, so what do we have here? So it looks like we've got heavy auto cannon and our uh, battle cannon stuff. All right. I uh, go through here. We got depth charges. And then here we go up. And we're in the cockpit. Okay. So this is the cockpit. And we get access to lights. So let's get lights on. Uh, we have, looks like, more ammo. Carry on through. We've got more ammo. Some guns here. Windows see out. Oh, so we've got our top gunner or dome gunner. Okay, so this is up, down, left, and right. Nice. And then you can rotate and fire. Nice, I like that. Cool, what else do we have? Let's go down. Now, there are seats everywhere, so that makes our life much easier to move around. Side gunners. Very nice, all right. Extra ammo, of course, just in case you need that. Uh, some lights here. Looks like another hatch, some parachutes. Uh, and then our rear gunner. So this is mass controlled. Ooh, that's nice. That. 
and you can actually yeah you can actually reload these so for example i don't want that one anymore i want to grab some more ammo you have to come to the back here grab it and then stick it in and there we go nice i like that and easily to get out yep there we go get out the seat cool i mean that's pretty spot on isn't it beautiful interior i love the lighting too that's nice all right let's go to the cockpit let's see how well this thing actually flies so uh we've got some equipment here we have our seat get our third person look at this it looks like there's some engine covers here beautiful all right so a uh, little bit of a starting up procedure we need to get our coolant pumps fuel pumps on master which is on throttle 25 30 percent according to the crater so let's get that on and let's go and get starter one and starter two done done let's get our brakes on oh, where are those parking brakes we've also got some spotlights guide lights nav lights instrument lights cockpit lights uh weapon systems radios flaps transponder coolants and stuff already got on it looks like a map screen a targeting and i'm guessing for bombs maybe we'll have to see uh but that's pretty much about it oh wait unfold wings too that's probably very useful beautiful look at that thing nice all right let's go and get our parking brake off uh let's go and use our throttle now up down does that control yes it does okay up down controls that let's do full throttle And there we go, just like that, we're out. You nice, really nice. Okay, let's get flaps down to zero. We also have an option to stabilize, but we'll get our landing gear up first, which is there. So landing gear folds away and stabilizes four. And we should be stabilizing any second. Here we are. Something fell. Oh, that was the ammo I took out earlier. And there we go. We're up flying. Nice. Okay, let's check out. Uh can I still fly with the stabilizer? I can. Okay, well, it looks like it stabilized my ult, so I actually can't change the ult now. That's fine. Uh, let's take the stabilizer off. And we'll push brakes, select weapons, throttle. Okay. So, let's do battle cannon. Aim down a bit. Oof. <laughs> so interesting having a battle cannon on a, on a plane like this. Oh, man. Uh, and we can also choose rocket pods now i'm worried about the rocket pods and the propellers but i mean oh also the crazy said you should slow down your throttle so let's get our throttle down a bit when using some of these weapons and things uh so let's go and check out the rocket pods yeah that works really well actually lovely <laughs> nice um bombs so that opens up bomb hatch and you got the two depth charges one and two those things are massive aren't they absolutely massive and looks they just exploded once they touched the, the water that's cool uh and then the last thing we have is the main guns or main cannons okay so that means all this other stuff let's fire that oh man that mean isn't it So that's the light order cannons and the heavy order cannons. Oh man, you can definitely do some damage with this thing, can't you? Is there anything for ammo? Don't see any ammo readouts or anything, but I'm sure we got plenty of ammo. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, let's stop playing with all that. I want to check out how well this thing is actually going to land in the water. So we're going to get um, our throttles down. Throttle down. Hopefully, we'll glide a bit. I mean, gliding in Stormworks is not the greatest but and try throw up throw up throw up okay we doing snow oh well we still managed throw down yeah gliding in storm doesn't really happen does it unfortunately but we are in the water uh great let's go and test out now how well this thing can take off so full throttle up might need to restart the engines though there we go so full throttle up now i've got flaps only at the moment I'm not touching my controls. Okay, so that's full throttle. Flaps are on to max. Let's do manual lift. And there we go. We're out. Very easy, actually. Once I applied some manual lift to that, uh, that was actually really easy. Let's go and uh, try another landing here with a little bit of throttle. This time I won't kill the throttle completely. 
see how well this thing does. No, I don't know how to use this thing. So go down, slow throttle a little bit down, slow throttle. You want to have a little bit of throttle when you land. There we go. Nice. So yeah, really, really awesome creation. I mean, I can't fault it in any way. It's beautiful. Looks really cool. Flies well. Lovely creation. Definitely go check this one out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the SAK-38 Strategic Tanker. Uh, as this is the name, this is meant to be a air tanker that you can go and fly around and you can use to possibly refuel your friends, whether they're flying jets or any planes in the world, which is quite nice. Apparently this has got a really long range to it, which is quite nice. Uh, and it's also got one of those booms at the back, if I'm correct. So yeah, I mean, I can't wait to test this out and see how well this uh, flies. So let's go and spawn in. And spawning in the tanker, very nice looking, very nice and long. I like the design so far. I mean, everything looks like it's well proportioned too. Landing gear, quite nice and beefy. Looks like we've got some big turbine engines. Uh, looks like our actual pods for refueling on either side, if I'm correct. So let's go and check out that side. Yes, another one there, one there, and then we've got the main one at the back. All right, let's go and have a little walk around underneath this thing. A little service hatch in here for refueling or recharging and things. All right. Uh, looks like we got some sensors and things under this panel here. Okay. Radar and things. A little line here for when you're doing your refueling. Looks like we got some lines here. So this is always meant to guide you at least uh, in when you're coming in for your refueling. Oh, it also looks like some lines here too and some lights. So that would guide you left or right and then forwards and backwards. And then you can see we've got the main actual hatch here and the main refueling part here at the back or the probe or the arm here at the back. All right, look at that. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Imagine flying up to this. All the crates needs to do is make an add-on for this thing to fly around the world automatically and come up to it or maybe just replace the in-game one with this. That'd be really cool. Uh, cool, let's go and get inside it. So up the ladder, I'm guessing. Uh, crouch. And I oh yeah, don't see any buttons or anything, so let's carry on. Push button, there we go, closes it up in here, and then that brings us into our entry hatch. All right, uh, let's get some lights on, cabin lights, uh, white lights, there we go. So, oh, some nice detailing in here, I like it. Very nice. Beds, toilets, mid compartments, door to open and close. Nice. A door on the other side through here brings us into lights again, more cabin stuff. Uh, and this is your actual refueling part. So you can enable the station. Initializing core. All right, give it a few seconds. We've got the enable boom pumps. Yeah, left and right. Cameras, night vision, deploy. So that's the left and right ones you can deploy. Uh, cabin lights, white lights, dim lights. Uh, we've got left, center, right, and you can deploy the pumps. Fuel that's left in the creation, map and speed and everything else. Deploy boom, disconnect boom. Nice, and you can actually move this. So for example, we deploy it. Hopefully it's not gonna break anything. Uh, so you can deploy it like this and you can actually move it up and down. So if you wanna get it to any perfect angle that you want. All right. And then you can also move it left, right, up and down. And then you can also um, push it in and out from correct, which is up and down. So you can see it's going out now and then coming in. Very nice. I like that. You can see the lights underneath are also on at the moment. Uh, it will obviously, it's got a little, it looks like it's got a little radar on it, as you can see just over there. So it's actually going to detect it, and that's what it's going to hopefully, or at least adjust that part there, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. Nice. Let's go and undeploy it. We we'll resell it, get the lights off. Uh, and let's go and see what else we have in this creation. Uh, let's go and get through here. Through, what's this? Um, toilet. Okay. I uh, carry on through here, and we get to. Oh, a little cargo area. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little door there. Door there. Looks like we've got some rail systems. Very nice. Looks like cabin lights again. Like it. Uh, let's go and get inside here. What do we have? Equipment. All right. Uh, through here, some more seats. Another lavatory. And then the cockpit. All right. So we've got some jump seats on the side. Nice. And we've got pilot and co pilots. So we've got pilot seat. Uh, everything looks pretty cool so far. I mean, let's get some little, is there any options for lights uh, inside of here? 
cabin. Heater cockpits. No. See if I can just get some lights on inside of here. Tail. Cockpit lights. Cockpit dim. No, cockpit bright. There we go. Cockpit bright is what I wanted. All right. Cool. Now, there is a starting of procedure for this plane. Of course, there is. Uh, so we're going to try and follow as best as possible. We need to get our batteries on. We also need to get our key switch on. Now, I'm going to jump past all this part uh, because this might take a while. And I'll meet you guys back once we are all set up. All right, so we have just got the starting up done of the plane. Everything is pretty much ready to go. Uh, so now we can take a little look around of what's going on. So it looks like we got some heads up, uh, quite nice. Uh, looks like we've got a pitch ladder here, a few other things, alt speed, uh, feet, vertical speed, and a few other cool things. Roll bank here too, nice. Another one over here uh, with also a heading on it. Looks like we've got a map screen. Uh, looks like our engines, throttles, percentages, temperatures, PSI, RPMs. Nice. Now these are MFDs apparently. So apparently you can just click on here. It looks like we got a heading. Engine screen again. We've got mode low. This is an APU. Fuel. Looks like we got main auxiliary. So this is a power generating system. Uh, and we also got a little screen here, a little camera here. Okay, very nice. Nice little MFD. I like it. A little radio too. We got a few other things down here, flaps, parking brakes, and this little stick that moves around with your throttle, which is quite nice. Uh, so you can see if our throttle up and down, this actually moves, which is quite cool. Heading hole, roll stabilizer, old hold, waypoint system, uh, landing gear, radar toggle. Where does the radar actually sit on top? Okay, so you get this little marker on the screen. Interesting. Maybe that's full speed. Uh, where's our radar? Is it here? Yes, it is. Here's our radar. Okay, cool. Uh, nice, let's go and get this uh, up and running. So, I mean, we can just get the brakes off. Uh, we can, flaps are already set. All we need to do is just increase uh, throttle, which is one. So, increase throttle. Pull throttle up. And I'll start pulling up in a few seconds. Hopefully, we're not run away. Yep, we do. Look, I'm even touching controls. Beautiful. So, that's full throttle. Let's get our flaps off. So, flaps down. Let's go and put the nose down a bit. Let's get our stabilizer. Oh, so that's roll stabilizer only at the moment. Uh, landing gear. So let's wait for the landing gear to come up. So you can see it currently is a folding. Fold. Yes, so it looks like the first ones. Very nice. Folded, folded, folded. Beautiful. And all fold away. Nice. I like it. Uh, Alright, so now we can go and get everything else on. So alt hold. Let's get alt hold on. Oh, we need to set it first, I think. Uh, let's see. So alt. This one. Yes. Alt hold. 1000 feet. Meters. I think it might be feet. Uh, let's get it 3,000. Yeah, that's in feet, I think. Uh, cool, so we said 3,000. That's fine. We've got waypoint system if we want to add that in. Heading hold, roll stabilizer. Let's get roll stabilizer on. Uh, and that's pretty much about it, really. Everything else is up and running. Everything else is running, which is great. We don't need to close or do anything else if I'm correct. Uh, we've got refueling probe if we want it. Do we have a refueling probe on us? Oh, yeah, a little refueling there. Nice. Very, very smooth so far. Oh, is that really much else? There we got thrust spoiler if we wanted to. We've got the heading hold and those kind of things. Nice. All right. And then for the waypoint system, you can just use your map to mark it. And let's do what? A. Yep. L. Okay. So A. And then can you activate multiple? Yeah, you can. Look. There we go. And then you can activate the waypoint system. And there's the plane flying to the waypoint system. Very simple. Very, I like how it also banks instead of just yawing itself. Uh, so that's really nice. So you can set your alt, you can set your heading, you can set all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, you can just kind of set and forget about it. Look, there it goes there to the waypoint systems. Very nice. Nice little, very clean, easy to use system. I like it. So that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, I mean, I think there's still quite a bit more. We've obviously briefly gone over it, but I mean, this is a really cool creation. Uh, I think the creator's done a fantastic job. Detailing is spot on. Uh, usability is really cool. I thought the... And once you get past like a little starting procedure of getting all the buses and the APUs and all those kind of things running, then you're fine. I could probably actually get the APU off. Um, but once you get all past all that kind of stuff, then you're pretty set to go and you can just kind of fly around. Let's get the autopilot heading off. And yeah, I mean, it just works really well. We still got the lights on the wings. But uh, there's even a little cargo hatch there we didn't check out. 
But yeah, beautiful plane. Definitely recommend you guys go and check it out. I'd love to see the creator maybe uh, try and incorporate this into the default game script. Or maybe do some type of add-on where you can enable this. Kind of like you can do with my aerial refueler or you can do with the in-game one. So I'd love to see that maybe done in the future. But yeah, beautiful creation. Let's go ahead let's move on to the last one for the episode. And moving on to the last creation episode, we have the bunker. Now the bunker is, of course, a underground bunker here in Stormworks. Um, but the main thing that I'm really interested to see is how the creator has managed to actually break through the ground. Uh, because in Stormworks, you have the islands that you actually can't go underneath the ground. So I'm going to see how that one works. So let's go and spawn it and see how it's done. And spawning in the creation as a add-on, you can see it's here at the fishing village. Now, if we go over it, you can see we've got a little camera. It looks like a wind sensor. And that's pretty much about it. So let's see how the creators actually manage this. Well, the ground is here. How? Okay, so I guess they haven't solved the issue of actually going through the ground. I guess you still have to use the home key. Uh, okay, there we go. So now we're inside their home key, or there might be some other way to do it. But uh, yeah, home key. But how then, so what, you can then walk through it? How? Huh. Interesting. Uh, okay, that's a, that's a, so you actually don't need to use the home key. You can just go over it and look at the ladder and you can go down. All right, interesting. Uh, let's go down. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I'm interested to see how, what the crate has done here. Ooh, this thing is big. Wow, okay, I was expecting quite a small little bunker. This looks pretty cool. Uh, bunker door we can close that now we do need to get power running apparently some meeting room bathroom bunks game room electrical room that must be the one okay so main power is on we need to get our bunker lights air pumps heaters and main lights on we just got prepared to evacuate all right now we've got everything running cool i mean let's start the front again the doors have not completely closed we've got a meeting room in here Remote CR, oh, that's nice. Okay, uh, let's go to the next room. So, bathroom. Do a little screen there. Nice. Uh, let's go through. We have bunks. So, just some bunks with some equipment. Some weapons, of course. Why not? Game room. Looks like some seats. We've got start one minute. So, this is a microwave. <laughs> and then we've got a little fridge in here. And, oh, great. The crater's also got the option to... Um, Use my hunger mechanics add-on, which is fantastic. Uh, looks good. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> Wait on. Something else come up on the screen there? Okay. I guess things just rotates through different things. Nice. Uh, we've got a ping pong game. We've got a pool table. All right. Uh, go through the next room. Medical room. Okay. Uh, we can carry on through. Oh, let me like to see the creator use player sensors so the lights turn on automatically when you enter rooms and things. That would be pretty cool. A uh, bunch of equipment again. Uh, we go through to the next room. Briefcases on the wall. Also, just a cargo room of some sort. And with some loot in there too. That you can actually let's pick up this one you can collect. Alright, I mean, nice. Uh, it's got everything you would need inside here. I like how the creator's done the detailing in this. I mean, it looks really cool. There's even a little hatch in there. I don't think you can get up there. But, um... Yeah, I think the crates has done a fantastic job and good job for managing to get through the ground there. At first I wasn't ex expecting it, but yeah, really good. I mean, that's pretty cool that you can just use ladders there. Um, it's a pity you, I mean, we can't actually physically do this in Stormworks, so you can see you can't jump through it. But I mean, if you just crouch down enough, you get the ladder and there you go. And the cool thing is you can actually walk out of it. I thought you you wouldn't be able to and you would get stuck, but uh, that's pretty cool. I, great job. I think the crates has done a fantastic job. Really, really nice. So guys, with that said, uh, that's the end of this week's episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed the creations. If you have enjoyed them and you want to check out any of the creations, I do leave them linked in the video description. As always, go give some love to the creators because it does take time to build these creations. So guys, if you have enjoyed the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any future content, uh, make sure you click the little bell icon. And until next week, we will see you then.